From any screen, tap Home at the bottom of the screen, then Charts from the list on the right. Wave information is typically selected to be shown on either the Sea Conditions page or Forecast page. For this demonstration, we'll use the Sea Conditions page. From the Chart screen, tap the Menu button at the bottom. On the right will be a list called Weather Options. The second two items in the list have slider bars that operate as on-off switches. When you tap the Layer Mode button, you will see it changes from Observed to Forecast. Notice the button above it also changes from Observe Layers to Forecast Layers, according to which position the slider is in. To view wave information, the preferred setting of the Layered Mode button is Forecast. Next, tap the Forecast Layers button above the slider. Tap Wave from the list of forecast layers. A green bar will appear on the left side, indicating that wave data will now be shown on the chart screen. This indicates there is a submenu with more options. Tap the arrow symbol to access these options. You now have three choices of wave layers you can display. Wave height, wave direction, and wave period. Tap the wave height button and a green bar will appear on the left side. This indicates wave heights will be displayed. Tap menu to return to the chart screen. With wave height selected, notice the watercolor on the chart screen changes. The color denotes wave height. Dark blue is one foot or less. The color will change from blue to green, yellow, then red as height increases. Tap Menu, and from the Weather Options list that appears, tap the Legend button. This can be set to Show or Hide. Select Show. A box will appear on the upper left side of the screen that shows wave heights the colors shown correspond to. You can also tap anywhere on screen to see the predicted wave height at that location. Returning to the Wave Layers button, tap both the Wave Direction and the Wave Period buttons. The green bar will appear on the left side, indicating the wave data will be displayed. Tap Menu to return to the chart screen. Red arrows will now appear on screen, showing the direction of the waves. You will also notice small lines on the screen. Along the line will be a number. This is the wave period in seconds which is the amount of time for two successive wave crests to pass a fixed point. With all three wave layers displayed, note the cloud with arrow symbol that appears on the upper left side of the chart screen and the word now below it. Tap the cloud with arrow to show the next forecast. Tap again to show the next forecast and so on. Wave forecasts are provided up to 36 hours out. You can also set the loop function to show the upcoming forecast changes automatically. Tap the Menu button again to return to the Weather Options menu. There will now be three slider buttons available. Leaving the Layer Mode button in Forecast, tap the Loop button to slide to the On position. The wave data will now shift between the forecasts automatically, showing the upcoming changes in the conditions at a glance. The window in the upper left corner of the screen will display forecast period as the image changes.